Hey guys, today we're in the garage and <coughs> I am working on some scrap pieces of wood. I'm going to make a little village. You want to see it so far? Let's see what one your house it is. A house. There's another house. Scrap wood. Scrap wood. There's another one right there. And then I'm going to make ornaments with these guys. All those will be little ornaments. And then I'm going to do some vinyl on those two pieces of scrap wood. And then I did put a little ornament hole in it just in case I want to use it for ornaments. But most likely, it, and I could put another hole in that, that side so they could hang like that on a tree or something. But just put it in there preemptively and just in case we want to use it that way. And then I have another big board for a tutorial that I'm going to do soon. I'm going to film it today and then you'll see it soon. Um, what else are we doing? Um, I got kind of inspired with scrap wood. My, scrap wood. My friend brought me these long boards. They're not authentic by any means, but I think they're kind of cool. Authentic? What do you mean? Like they're not like 50 years old. Oh, some no. Some guy painted some wood and... It's, it's not just painting. It. These are mountains from all over the world. This happens to be, I believe, in Antarctica. Yeah. The other ones are all the, all the peaks of the world. Yeah, but it's not like this is, you know, a 50-year-old sign from a trailhead. Oh, yes. That's what I mean. So I'm actually going to make a tray out of it so that I don't have to use my supply of wood. So, turn my mark. It's not plugged in. Ugh. It's not Going in. Cutting some wood myself. <laughs> I am so leaving that in. They may not even hear that on the oh, microphone. Oh. Alright, so then we added little one by pieces of wood underneath. And Jason's. Yeah. Are you getting it? Anyway. I hope so. So that's kind of cool. Oops, I got a little far over there. <laughs> Okay, and then I was looking through my little bin up here and I found this guy. I think I will try and dig in there and find the other one. Welcome, by the way. I don't think I've started the day yet. So, um, we went to Costco already and I actually got up at, oh, I didn't measure that side. Sorry. Okay. One inch. I went to, oh, what are we saying? I actually woke up at like probably 6 or 6.30. Couldn't go back to sleep, which is what I wanted to do yesterday. I wanted to get up when I couldn't sleep, um, but I was exhausted yesterday. So this morning I just got up and I didn't get ready because I didn't want to wake anyone up. Kaylee and Abby were almost ready for school and I came down and I was able to work on three loads of laundry and what else to do? Straightened up the house, finished decorating the shelf, just a little bit more to clear off the front table. Um, I helped get the clothes set, lunches made, Chelsea woke up, she helped me make her lunch, she had breakfast, and then by the time the kids were up and eating, Chelsea was, or by the time after, by the time Ashley was awake, I was ready to go upstairs and put makeup on and take my hair out of the bun. This is the last day of this curly hair. I'll take a shower after I'm kind of done working on these projects, but Anyway, I got a lot done, so I need to stop laying in bed when I'm waking up at 6.30 or so, but I'm kind of finding one project after another out here in the garage, the things that have been like floating around in my brain, and it's fun to get them done. So now I have to decide what's going to go on this little tray. It might become a hot cocoa bar, because I have the other ones being used on my shelving unit that I had last year for the cocoa bar, so... So next, I'm just going to sand all of this stuff down, and then I can bring it inside to work on it. All right, so I've sanded them all down, and I've stained some of them. 
So I've done all of the little ornament ones and then two or no three of the houses in a uh, provincial no Jacobean the Jacobean stain so I have all of those ones done and then I'm gonna paint these houses different white gray I haven't quite decided and then I have these two guys I actually forgot to add some more stain to this one but I already took my gloves off so I'll do that when I go to get the vinyl put on this one and then I sanded this board down and that one's ready to go. I'm not going to tell you what that project is, so you have to stay tuned for that one. All right, so I'm going to let those guys all, oh, I have to bring my car in. So I'm going to let these all uh, dry overnight, but I'm not going to make you guys wait to see what the little ornaments look like. I will bring you back um, to probably tomorrow and um, I'll just include it with this video, what I'm going to put on those ones. I'm actually just going to... I think I'm just gonna draw on them with a chalk pen just because I want them to be really really simple I'll probably do a separate tutorial just for the houses I don't know I haven't decided but they won't be done today so I won't be able to show you those ones and I don't know when I'll be able to finish them so stay tuned for that one to get finished and then stay tuned for the big sign that I have right here I'm not gonna tell you what that one is um, I'm going to go inside and clean up the little tray thing. I need to wipe it down. I sanded it to kind of rough it up, and then I'm just going to wipe it down. Um, so let me go move my car, and we'll keep going. It's just kind of a little Christmas craft day. I'm not going to really bring you any part of the rest of our day, just because I like the focus on just these crafts for right now. All right, pulled my hair up. got a little hot outside, but I wanted to kind of backtrack a little bit and show you kind of my process for some of these craft projects they're not there's not a whole lot of tutorial involved with a lot of these but I kind of want to show you my process of kind of how I think through things and then how I kind of make it happen so the first thing I do is go to Pinterest but then I start to map it out with my little notebook here I'm not going to show you this top one because that one's kind of a secret but these are my little wood houses and I had an idea to do like a galvanized roof but maybe just with spray paint um, so that's what I've cut out and I've stained three of them in the brown and then I'm going to paint some white and some black and then I cut these guys out as well and I'll show you the little decals that I might add to those where I might use a paint like a chalk paint pen. This one I didn't have any pieces in the size I wanted but I wanted to just do it with wood and then I'm going to paint or tape the edges and make this spray painted into like make it look like galvanized metal and then I also have some fabric to make a garland but the one I'm going to go work on right now really quick is I have all those wood rounds from a project that I never did so I'm going to go and drill some holes in them and then all I have to do is use a paint pen or the little stickers that I got at the dollar store the other day which is what I might do with these ones as well all right so I've got my pile of wood and actually some of them molded and so they weren't as clean as I thought they were going to be ignore the helicopter flying around so I ended up getting my sander out and sanding the tops of them hang on all right the helicopter's gone so I sanded the top of them down and I just drilled a hole into that one this one is actually really thin and then this is kind of like a medium width on that one but then some of them I've done this one's small but it's really thick and chunky which I kind of like but I realized with the mold and kind of a rough surface I wouldn't be able to like paint on them very well plus on these moldy ones I think I might actually just paint some like bleach water on them to kind of like kill that mold so it's not a problem inside the house and then I only did 10 of them they're ornaments it's not taking over the whole tree I already have ornaments I just wanted to make something new okay so I've got my stuff set out here I'm going to paint two of the houses white, and then I'm going to paint one of them black. I'm going to decide if it's, I think it's going to be this one. It's going to be black. And then these two are going to be white. So I've got my white chalk paint there and my black chalk paint here. This is just left over from when we did our chalk wall upstairs. Then, and then I'm going to do this one black, and that's for a different project, but technically don't need that in the tutorial. So we'll show that. And then I'm going to add a different ribbon to this, but I can't find my twine. So I'm going to use my Christmas um, ribbon for now, unless I don't like it, and then I can change that later. And then I'm going to use this fabric to just cut out a new little 
garland for the little truck on the shelf in the other room. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna turn on my Christmas show and sit down and craft. you guys some of the crafts we got done the merry and bright it's still drying but it's all painted and then we have the three houses I've got to wait till they dry and then I'll sand the edges down and then we did a little banner for the truck I'll go put that on and show you and then we have these two ornaments that I added the new string for then these wood rounds I have put some bleach on it I'm gonna see if they will they're still drying some of them are done mostly drying but I'm gonna let them dry overnight and kind of see if that kind of kills some of that mold. Make sure before I start writing on them and touching them anymore. So I think that's all the crafting things that I'm gonna to do tonight. So let me go show you the new tray that I set up with that one that we made. And we'll put this little banner on the truck set. And then I might call it a night. We'll kind of see if I, we have to wait for the stain to dry on the other ornaments before I can paint on those. But I will include it here as soon as they're dry. I'll just kind of tack it on to the end and show you what they look like. I'm just going to use a chalkboard pen and I'm going to draw some snowflakes and some trees in very like little detail. And But I have to wait for the stain to dry and I have to find my pen. <laughs> Took it with me to the wedding and now I can't find that or my twine but I did use the little string stuff for this one instead of twine because I like the candy cane look so let's go put this on the truck out there and then I'll show you the tray all right here is the little garland that I added to the little camper and then I have a little Santa hat on the truck right there it's just kind of cute to just kind of add these little touches and you know I think it's just kind of fun all right so here's the tray I actually still need to paint these gray to match, but I haven't done that yet. But I think it's kind of cute. We'll add handles right across here and here. But for now, I think it's pretty cute. Decided not to do it as a hot cocoa bar quite yet. I'm just going to leave it like this. I found these lanterns in the garage and I thought it was kind of like the perfect like feel. Then I added a light string. And I actually just love to use this as a decoration, but I use this a lot for gift wrapping and stuff throughout the holidays and projects. So I actually leave it out like this as a decoration because then I can just have access to it. And then here's this little ornament that I did. I added it to the box here just for the fun of it. And then I have a sled from the Target Dollar Spot. So there's not much functionality, but it's really cute. And you can get a sneak peek of some of the Christmas decorations in the background. But I'm going to show you all that later. I just think this little tray is kind of fun. A little bit of a different look to it. But I kind of enjoy it. Alright you guys. I'm kind of looking a little disheveled. But that's what happens on a day of just crafting. Here's another little sneak peek of the shelf. I'm almost done with the shelf. I have to kind of put stuff away that I'm not going to use. But it's kind of fun um, to tinker with it and add things here or there. I actually added a lantern like I have on the table tray up there. I actually have like 10 of them. <laughs> um, I got them from someone else as a decoration piece. So anyway, thanks for joining me on a day of crafting and you can do a ton of stuff with like scrap wood like I had, but you could also go and get a cheap piece of wood at Lowe's and do a lot of the same things or go out into the woods and grab some, you know, some of those wood rounds. So thank you for joining me today and I hope you have a good day.